getting it, cuz. Send that thing. It's your boy, Jay Mitch. On the high. Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy, Jay Mitch. I'm up here, wanted to show y'all my newest acquisition. It is a Team Corrali Radix 6 Buggy. Um, just wanted to kind of show you guys a little sort of unboxing, tabletop overview of what we got going on here. Um, I was able to pick this car up yesterday from RC Discount. Um, Adam kept peer pressuring me to buy it, kept on lowering and lowering the price for me. Um, you know, if you're interested in getting one of these cars, Adam can get it for you. Hit him up, see what he can do for you. Tell him your boy Jay Mitch. You saw it on Jay Mitch's channel. He might take a couple dollars off for you. But anyway, I just kind of want to show you guys a car and give you a quick overview about what we got going on here. Um, I was able to buy the car with a set of these white hoons all the way around. But I actually had some felony hoons and I just wanted to take some good pictures of it. I don't think I could run it like this because I probably will kill a differential but I thought it just looked pretty badass with these wheels on there. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, the Radix X is, is, is one of their buggies. And they also have the Python. The only difference between the Python and the Radix 6 is the body and the stickers on the wings. And actually, the wheels are different. Um, I think the Radix 6 has more of an aggressive wheel. And the, um, the Python has a, a, a less aggressive wheel, more like a pin style wheel. Um, but mines didn't come with that. Mines came with the hoons. So what can you say about that? Um, I feel like this buggy was inspired by armor, like a lot of the advertising, like the, the, the colors, the flashiness of it, the aggressive look of it. It's kind of inspired by armor. But there's other touches of other um, brands in this car that I'll go over. Um, also, you can see it's kind of influenced by other buggies. There are other uh, companies that do two body uh, mount system. I'm thinking of Mugen off the top because I have it in Mugen and BX8. And that's one of the reasons why I didn't want to buy another buggy because that is my favorite buggy. And to me, that's probably the best buggy in this segment for me. I just love that car. Um, it's just it's beautiful. I love Mugen, period. Not the chuggy so much, but the buggy. You can dash it. You can race it. All right. This ain't about the Mugen, though. Let me shut the hell up about that. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to take the body off and let you guys take a look at it. Um also on the inside this reminds me of the mugen how the servo arm is kind of over the um receiver plate the mugen's esc is more in a 90 degree angle i will say one more thing too sorry i keep saying i'm gonna stop talking about other brands but i'm gonna keep talking about them kind of show you the influence uh the mugen uh the mugen and maybe a few other buggies they have uh the esc um mount behind the battery tray on that side of the car i know team corrali has been recent for years and i'm sure they had some r d and I'm, I'm sure this is well known because there's a lot of buggies like that but i'm just talking about the cars that i've actually had one-on-one -on -one experience with prior to this and how this compares to those um there's a lot of influence from a lot of uh great great manufacturers i'm looking at this motor mount here uh that reminds me of mugen 2 with the um with the two um bolts at the top but one on the side and one at the top um, to me, that's influenced by Mugen as well. Um, and then the Kyosho, I don't know. I think the Kyosho and maybe the Team Associate 1A scale buggies, primarily the Kyosho, have this wide chassis. Um, this really keeps the, the car stable and it really helps the car fly nicely in the air. So it's kind of influenced by that. The armor is not this wide. Um, so that's all I'm going to talk about how I, the influence, um, of other things that I've seen, um, on this, on this Radix though, I'm really impressed that they, um, if, I don't know if you can see it in here, um, this, the center diff cup is aluminum on the V2. So that's pretty damn cool. And also on the V2s, the turn ruffles are, are plastic. So it kind of takes the guesswork out of having to adjust these and it's already set up. Um, for what you need it for, for bashing, and I don't know, speed running, if you need to do that. But if you needed to do adjustable turnbuckles, I'm sure you could throw the armor ones on here or something if you needed that flexibility to, to get this car dialed in to go straight or whatever you're trying to do. But just for bashing, I think this is perfect out the box for what you want to do. Uh, makes everything simple to just center your servo and, and, and get going. Um, 
what else was I going to say about this car? Um, they've also upgraded the plastics. These shocks are huge. Um, and the car is pretty solid. Uh, but anyway, I'm talking too much. Um, I do like that it comes with XC90s. Shut the hell up, John. I'm done. All right. Um, what I'm going to say is, this looks like a dope car. I can't wait to see what we do with it. I need to get it on the street and see what it does. Um, so I'm going to say thanks for watching. Um, shout out to Dave Hubbard. Shout out to Big Willie. Shout out to Ted Natamar's Discount. Shout out to everybody in my that supports me. I really appreciate y'all. The channel's growing. Um, I, I, I'm just really happy that you guys um, take the time and comment on my videos sometimes and and, and really, you know, just, just support everything I do. So I just want to say thanks. Um, I will leave Adam's information in the description. Um, and I'll leave a link to my Facebook uh, group page. And hopefully you guys, if you're watching this, you're interested and you can join up on my Facebook group page. I, I do some posts there a couple times a week and on my Instagram information. Anyway, I'm talking too much. Thanks for watching. Y'all be good now. Peace.